Hi, I'm Patrick. Raw rope tends to be stiff, so we begin by wrapping it around a fixed object and twisting around itself a few times. Pulling in a sawing motion breaks down the fibers, making them soft and pliable. More wraps, the greater the resistance. More than three may become difficult to pull consistently. This creates a bit of a mess, so you'll probably want to do it outside. Most processors recommend clipping in a carabiner to an anchor point. A dumbbell is a decent alternative many of you will have lying around. The knurling on the handle is typically abrasive without being too aggressive. Brace the weight or pull straight up to work against gravity rather than friction to avoid sliding. Continue this motion until you reach the end. The rope should feel significantly softer when you're done. Upon completion, the rope will look unattractively fuzzy. The next step is to singe off the lint with an open flame. Pass the rope through the flame to clean up the hairs. When stopping to adjust hand position, pull the rope out of the flame. Don't stop or the rope will quickly burn. If you have a gas stove, that's probably your best option. My kitchen doesn't, so I'm using a camp stove. Third choice would be to slowly use a candle or carefully use a torch. An unfortunate byproduct of the previous step is black char and ash left over from the burning. To remove this, we'll repeat the first step. Here I'm using two ropes at once to save time. I'm using small motions to stay in the camera's view. The further each stroke moves, the faster the step becomes. The number of strokes per cycle is also influenced by filming multiple takes and time. Were I not filming, I'd make about 11 strokes per section of rope. Next, the rope is oiled for both its protection and your bottom's comfort. Others will suggest using a towel, which is cleaner, but I'm dipping my hands in oil so I can better feel how much is being applied. As the rope soaks up the oil and your hands dry off, add more to keep the coat even. I'm using mineral oil. There are a few alternatives, but most household options will go rancid before too long. A common addition is beeswax, while some prefer the more expensive jojoba or tsubaki oil. Heating the oil will help it absorb deep into the rope. I soaked a glass bowl in boiling water for a little bit to prepare it for the oil. Now the rope is ready. Excess oil will even out with use or you can pull it through a clean towel several times. Enjoy.